Hello, this is Hakuna Bean, and today we are going to be reading SCP-2020, also known as Cliché, right? If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. I have a number, SCP-2020. Object class, Euclid Exequiel. I'm going to say Euclid, because I don't know what that bit at the end really means. Special Containment Procedures SCP-2020 is to be kept, is kept at, in a Type 4 humanoid containment cell at Site-17. Set amenities and precautions associated with T4HCC are in place. Dietary Supplement 2029 consists of 1.4 kilograms of used shredded paper is to be provided a daily. SCP-2020 cell is to be monitored for any unusual activity, with all vocalizations transcribed. 128 grams of tissue samples from SCP-2020 are to be are kept at subsite bio 17. Access to SCP-2020 or its Biological samples are to be approved by the by the head of SCP 2020's research research team. Description: SCP 2020 is a sapient humanoid entity, approximately 2.2 meters or 7 foot 3 in height, and 70 kilograms (150 pounds) in mass. SCP 2020 possesses unusually long and thin limbs, as well as facial features commonly associated with gray aliens and bright green coloration. SCP-2020's body is composed primarily of a novel form of natural rubber that appears to serve skeletal, muscular, circulatory, and endocrine functions. SCP-2020's digestive system and nutritional requirements are consistent with its diet which consists entirely of paper and water. SCP-2020 has not shown any signs of growth or aging since recovery. Further study of SCP-2020's biology has been hindered by the, the rubber's toughness and resistance to tearing, which renders standard methodologies ineffective, as well as its this similarity to terrestrial biology. SCP-2020 claims to originate from a technologically advanced extraterrestrial civilization, but will make wildly different claims regarding the nature and location of this civilization when questioned. Given the circumstances of SCP-2020's recovery, see document Belkin Oswell 2020, this avenue of research is nonetheless considered viable. SCP-2020's behavior suggests that it shares Many psychological similarities with humans, such as the ability to learn, a desire for interaction, and partial understanding of social norms. It is fluent in English and responds to the names Artie, Bobby, and Izzy. I'm gonna call them Artie. It has not engaged in, in household behavior and appears indifferent to its own containment. Artie will frequently attempt to engage personnel in conversation in regarding its desire to write science fiction, and numerous ideas it has for a science fiction story. It has thus far failed to produce any actual writing, citing an inability to choose a concept. See attached transcript for details. Addendum. Excerpt from um, transcript 2021 ASO. Artie was permitted to speak to Researcher King on any topic it wished. I don't know what voice I'm going to do for this. Okay, I kind of thought one. No, no, wait, guys. I have an idea. A better idea. There's this facility, right? It was made by a someone at some time in the past to, to bring the world back from the apocalypse. Like something could blow a big hole in the earth, and after the facility went 
game over, play again, and and Y slash N. That hole could just be the Mariana as trench because the facility can do pretty much anything with physics and technology. I think. Cliche, right? I'm gonna say a, a those two words exactly the same every time because that as his way of funnier. Um, I don't really know how exactly this fits into a story or anything, but I mean, it could be the setting. I think. I guess I can think. Guys, I had another idea. Forget that one. This one. This one is a brain in a jar. That's a guy. Cliche, right? But like the idea here is that I just run with it. Crazy nutty professor type. Nutty vengeance that don't work. Complete nonsense. Yeah, I've actually heard this story before. But it's all working. And guys, that guy and his adventures could be like a superhero or something. Jeremy Vacuum. The vacuum brain in a jar with germs. That sounds wrong. I'll think of something. No, but I think I've um, seen the e e e e guy that's a brain that makes adventure in story before. I think that's a super villain, though. It's okay, it, though, okay, because I just got this awesome idea. There's a wizard. Wait for it. From space. A space wizard! Like a Jedi? Guys, that's not the only part though. He's a cyborg and he's with five with five cat girls. And guess what the twist is? That's right, the cat girls also cyborgs and they fight crime. Cliche, right? I mean, but it's not because they're fighting space crime. Crime in space. Does that make sense? Guys, the story would be about them being cyborgs and fighting crime. I mean, uh, minus the space cyborg part, I think I've seen uh, something similar in Tokyo Mew Mew, but I didn't really watch it that much. Actually, no, because I just got a better idea. Wait, it's an AI, right? An artificial... All intelligence on a computer. Cliche, right? Well, it makes simulations of the perfect world for that person. And then... And then it eats their brains. Guys, so maybe it's not actually doing that, and I... Or I guess the characters don't know for sure that it's actually doing that because we can't see inside it. But here's a plot twist, though. It then puts a fake brain in them and makes the bodies convince other people to go into the simulation into the simulation. What did I just say? Simulization, that's not even a real word. It's a horror story or a sci-fi horror. Science horror story. Hey guys, here's an idea for you. I just got this idea. It was a time machine, right? And it sends people to the future and then back to the present and in the future, in the future everyone dies from an asteroid. I mean, not everyone, just the people that it's like everyone. We say, right? Well, the main characters, I guess it could be the villains or Villain protagonists are trying to make sure that that future happens. Guys, that's because every time they try to look for another future, that future is even worse because it involves actually everyone dying, except for one a time where it's like a who wants to live forever deal. I don't know what the actual story is, but I'll think of something. Okay, but wait, but seriously. Better idea. Guys, this is alien, right? Like they have in the movies with the green skin and the big black eyes and everything. Cliche, right? Oh wait, wait for it. And for, and, and for whatever reason, I'll think of that later. It really wants to become a science fiction writer. But I can't stop I'm coming up with ideas long enough to do it. And the twist, here's the twist, is that it's talking to the people and they're from a government agency that already has all of the things it's talking about. And they're all like, how does it know this stuff? And does it even know that it's all real, right? <laughs> okay, so he just described himself. Wait, 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 wait. Two words. Just two words. Laser butt disease. Wait, guys, that was actually three. That was three words. This is going to be hard tonight, I thought. I think laser disease would be an interesting idea.
if we're going to pick from um, two of those words. <sighs> well, honestly, the already kind of describe uh, I've what they are already. An interesting alien that has a whole bunch of uh, sci-fi or other ideas that they can never write down because they're just too busy coming up with more. Anyway, that was SCP-2020. If you liked this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!